more just outrageous news of the wickedness and immorality that goes on inside the satanic pagan Roman Catholic Church. Now, this is just this sh this shows the type of immorality that goes on there. Besides all the pedophilia, fornication, all this other stuff, um, it says here Ohio Catholic priests blackmailed young boys with nude photos they gave him. Fed say, so child pornography. But this is supposedly the Church of Christ, the Church of Jesus Christ, the church that he founded. Sure. Uh, this is one of the reasons why preachers need to be married, why pastors need to be married, because when you're when you're a uh, uh, celibate like the Catholic Church says, you know this is what happens. This is why celibacy is not right for a pastor. Uh, full screen. An Ohio priest was indicted on Thursday, so Thursday, accused of blackmailing boys in his parish to send him nude photos and videos, according to federal for authorities. Robert D. McWilliams, the former Samaritan. Samaritan, again, not the best at reading on a computer, I do apologize, I say that a lot in my videos, of St. Helens Catholic Church in New Newsbury Township, has also served at St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Strongsville, was first arrested in December with charges in Choya, Choya Hoga and Juigia, again, not the best at reading on a computer, counties, according to News Herald, but pleaded not, he pleaded not guilty on January 21st charges, or two charges, or sorry, January to 21 charges, I read that wrong, the 21 charges, many of which were possession of child porn. He now faces eight court indictment charges ranging from sex trafficking of a minor to sexual exploitation of children, according to uh, Justin Herdman, the United States Attorney for the Northern, Northern District of Ohio. Now, I guarantee you this goes on constantly inside the Roman Catholic Church. This is just one example. The indictment was handed down Thursday by a federal grand jury. The alleged act committed in this case are a disturbing and strong reminder for the parents to be vigilant about who their children talk to and what they do online, Herdman stated in a news release. The 40-year-old priest had around seven or 1,700 uh, images and videos of child pornography and under another 150 files in a Dropbox account. Officials say he obtained many of them while pretending to be a female on social media, according to the U.S. Attorney's Office. So he's pretending to be a female so he can get these pornographic images. Disgusting. Of course, second article, I typically like to look for two articles on something, because, you know, the Bible says out of the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. You know, par paraphrasing, of course, but that's what the Bible says. Uh, Ohio Catholic priest indicted on charges of juvenile sex trafficking, child porn, exploitation. So again, you got the article from the Christian Post there talking about this too. Same thing, 1,700 images. You know, just total wicked immorality that goes on inside the pagan Roman Catholic Church. Now, what is a verse that ties into this? Revelation chapter 18. Um, here it is. Revelation, I forgot. I, I, yeah, Revelation 18.5. That's what I was looking for. Revelation 18.5. It's talking about Mystery Babylon, which is the Roman Catholic Church. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God hath remembered her iniquities. God's not forgotten about all this wicked abomination like pornography and pedophilia that goes on inside the Roman Catholic Church. God hasn't forgotten about it. He, has, he remembers their iniquities. Not to mention all the millions of Christians they've killed over the years, too. You know, but just this alone is enough to get God's wrath upon them. You know, just total wicked immorality. So, don't be deceived by this pagan Catholic cult. It is just, it's just paganism repackaged. Uh, this kind of stuff was rampant inside the pagan, the pagan Roman Empire, the pagan Greek Empire. This kind of smut and degeneracy was just rampant inside um, the pagan Greek and Roman Empire. So, not a surprise that the Roman Catholic Church, which is a continuation of Greek and Roman paganism, would do this kind of stuff because they're just getting it from the Greek and Roman pagan religion. So, yeah, don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye.